Hey, it's Vida and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be trying something a little bit different. I decided I wanna put my coding skills to the test by trying to make a game in 90 minutes, which is an hour and a half, if you're wondering. However, I can't just make any game. I'm going to use this website to randomly generate a kind of game that I need to make. It shows the genre, the rule, the setting, and the theme. Um, I'm gonna generate it and we're just gonna see what it gets. All right, three, two, one, Okay, these are definitely, this is definitely interesting. So the genre is a bullet hell, which is actually kind of funny because I have made some bullet hell games before. Um, the rule is take one, leave the rest. I'm setting mythology, okay. Theme, natural disaster. Okay, so the theme and the genre kind of fit. You know, I could have like, okay, okay. We're gonna figure out what we can do with this. All right, well, I'm going to click new project. All right, there we go, creating project. And now, as soon as I click this start 90 minute timer button, we're gonna start. All right, three, two, one. All right, let's go. Well, I wanna start off by making um, a sprite for the player. Yes, the player is just gonna be a sphere. Please don't judge. Actually, I decided I'm going to convert this to bitmap so I can actually do pixel art. I'm not great at pixel art, however, I can work with it. All right, since we only have 90 minutes, I'm gonna try and make a guy that doesn't really need animations. All right, there we go. That's our actual player. All right, so let's start coding now. And there we go. Movement's done. Why is our guy so small? Oh crap, the movements are reversed. Hold on. A is supposed to be negative and that's supposed to be positive. Okay, so movement should be good. And since our guy is so small, I'm going to increase his size. Let's do by double maybe. That's better. And the controls are actually pretty smooth. Next, we're gonna have lightning bolt, I think. Yeah, we'll make a lightning bolt. We're gonna do that. So my plan is since the setting is mythology, I'm gonna try and make it where you somehow got like Zeus mad or something and he's shooting lightning bolts at you. And then you gotta try and dodge the lightning bolts. We gotta incorporate natural disaster. We know it does make sense cause you know, lightning is a natural disaster, like a lightning storm or thunderstorm so we can do that all right, all right that is um, a pretty weird lightning bolt i think i'm going to try and make a cloud above it that's better i guess actually yeah that's that's much better all right lightning one we're gonna probably need to make more of these but for now we're just gonna work with one okay I guess that kind of works. Okay, now let's add more orange to the lightning bolt. Okay, there we go. I guess that'll work for now. All right, so we gotta do the code for this now, which here, yeah, well, we'll expand that and I don't fully know how we're gonna do it. We'll create clone of myself because we're gonna have multiple ones on the screen at a time. So we're gonna need clones. From here, I should be able to get this to work. And then in order to make the game end is if touching player and touching the yellow color. So for example, if you accidentally touch the cloud, you won't die. But if you touch the lightning bolt, you will. Or should we add some sparks at the bottom here? Here, we're gonna add some sparks. All right, there we go. Perfect, that'll work. And instead, actually here, we'll increase the size of this as well because in Scratch, for some reason, pixelated things are very small. So we'll increase the size by like 250. <laughs> okay, it actually is kind of working, but there's like no animation or anything. So we're gonna need to work with that. All right, there we go. So now the player will only die if they touch the bottom blue sparks, which is the actual hit point. All right, so stop all. All right, there we go. So now the player should die if they touch oh crap it's not really working oh no 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 i get it it's because i have the touching color set on the lightning bolt and the lightning bolt is not touching itself all right i didn't mean to make it sound weird but it's not so yeah we'll do that instead there we go and then we can just get rid of this all right so let's try it now so yeah we're fine if we touch that but if we do that we're dead all right there we go now we're gonna want to add different lightning animations or not animations per se just different sprites that they can switch between so it's not just a still lightning bolt so we're gonna do that all 
Alright, so I guess what we're gonna do for the animating, we're gonna have it where it switches its costume every like 0.1 second. Why does it look like that? It get, kinda works, but we're gonna need to work on that a little bit. Alright, we're gonna add a couple more sprites, but I don't want to spend too much time on this. Alright, we'll try this. <laughs> I don't know why, it just looks so goofy. I think we messed up by where each sprite, the cloud changes its spot. I think we should not really do that. So I spent a lot of time on these, but I'm, we're gonna have to get rid of these two. Okay, let's try this now. It looks a little better because the cloud's not really moving. Let's add one more though for now. Okay, that is pretty good. Now, it, it doesn't look great, but I feel like for now, that'll work. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna have it where the lightning bolts will disappear after a certain amount of time. And then now all you gotta do after that is delete this clone. Perfect, let's try it now. There we go. It's not bad. I feel like, though, two seconds is kind of long, so we'll do, like, 1.5. All right, there we go. Sometimes they'll generate... Oh, crap, I died. Which actually reminds me, I think I'm going to need to create a warning. So we're going to make that right now. I think I have the warning set up and also we're over one third done which is a little bit scary but I think we should be okay if this works if this doesn't I don't want to spend more time than I already have to on this but let's see okay we have warnings they work that's awesome that's awesome that that is work that is good but for some reason they're not going away ah I see I see I forgot to do a forever right there and now hopefully it should work now Yep, it works. Okay, good. Well, for a second, I was like, are you serious? But nah. Overall, this isn't bad. I do, I'm not a fan of these overlapping, but I think it's all right. It's kind of a little easy, but don't worry. We will fix that later. Now, I do kind of want to make a little bit of a background because it's just a blank white background and it's not that interesting. So what we're going to do, we're going to convert this to bitmap. All right, there we go. We have a gray background. I kind of want it to be like a grassy field, like a dark green because, you know, it's raining and everything's like damp. I actually have no idea how I can do the grass. Here, actually I have an idea. All right, so we're gonna get rid of all this. We're gonna have a really saturated dark green for grass here. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna copy, paste, and we're gonna have a little bit of a pattern, I guess you can say. And we're gonna do this the whole way. Actually, it kind of is working. I've never really w made grass before in my games, believe it or not, besides just making a green background. So this will take a lot of effort, but it actually might be worth it. Cause if you look on this screen, it actually kind of looks good, but I don't know yet. I don't know yet. All right, this actually kind of looks really good. I'm pretty surprised. All right, now all we gotta do, get that color, make a lighter version of it, convert to vector. Yeah, and we just throw this in the back. Perfect, that actually kind of works. And there we go, we have a background. It kind of matches our player, so we're gonna change that. Here, we'll make like an orange guy. All right, there we go. Now, I wanna make it where I can stand on top of the warning circles, but I can't on the lightning bolts. Okay, so this should work now. So if we find a warning circle, this one. Yep, yeah, we can go on it, but then we go behind it when the lightning bolt is active. 
yeah, it works. All right, all right, there we go. All right, now I think I'm gonna try and make a quick title screen. First, we need to make the background for it. What should the name of the game be? Let's do, of course, just a classic name. Zeus Acolypse. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we gotta try and make the title now. <laughs> what the heck? Why is it so bad? Perfect. I'm going to add a little bit of orange inside the letters. Okay, there we go. Our title's done. Now we need to make a play button. Okay, the play button is pretty much done. I just got to do a little bit of coding here and then we're good. Okay, so we got to put that there. Now I got to add the code for the backdrop so they can switch between each other. Okay, I think I got it working. So you click that and then the game starts. All right, there we go. Pretty easy uh, title screen. And now the game is mostly finished. I think though the last thing I really want to do before I do polishing is I want to add a difficulty curve. So the longer you last, the more the lightning bolts will spawn in. So in order to do that, I'll kind of make a wave system. So we're going to make a wave variable. All right, we'll have that as a large readout and we'll put it pretty much right there. There we go. And then we'll have text that says wave perfect so we'll have that change every 10 seconds the wave will go up actually no we'll do like every like seven seconds because 10 is a little too long so we'll have the wave at one and then now we're going to code the slowly increasing difficulty this will probably take a little while but this will definitely be worth it Alright, there we go, and it's done. Now, I'm sure there is an easier way to do this, but this is what I know, and it does work. So, as the waves go on, the amount of time a lightning appears is decreased, all the way down from 1 to 2 seconds to every 1 one hundredth of a second, which is uh, pretty fast. This is probably not easy. So, there we go. Now, we're a little over two-thirds done now. So, for this last half an hour, I guess I'm just going to be doing polishing. So, let's get to it. I decided that I'm going to try and find some sound effects for the game. There we go, I have some sound effects in place. The beeping is a little, is definitely annoying, so I'm going to try and make it as quiet as possible. Okay, there we go. It's pretty quiet. And then the thunderbolt, or the zap, or whatever, it's not really a zap. It's just a loud thud, but it'll work. Now I might work on the title screen a little bit, because I'm not a big fan of the start button, so we'll work on that a little bit here. There we go, that's much better. And also, I'm gonna have it where when your mouse is hovering over the start button, it'll glow a little bit. Alright, there we go. It works. And I also repositioned the button a little bit, and I think when you click on it, it should enlarge a little bit. So, now we have a much better button. So, it glows, click on it, 
it gets large, you hear a pop sound, and then you're in the game. That's good. Also, we're gonna add a separate sprite for the wave counter. It's just because you can walk on top of the text, and the lightning bolts will be on top of the text, and we don't really want that. So we're gonna make a separate sprite for it. Alright, there we go. It's done now. <laughs> it showed up on the title screen. Alright, now it's done. Perfect. Alright, there we go. I just added some weird lines below it to make it look cool. <laughs> I will say though, oddly enough, it kind of does look better though. Okay, there we go. And I'm actually going to add some lightning bolts to the title screen, just for decoration. Alright, there we go. It's actually, it's not looking that bad now. Because, you know, the title screen was pretty bland, but now that I added just some art in there, it does look a lot better. However, we only have 13 minutes left, and I'm not fully sure what I can do now. I do have an idea, but I'm not sure if it's a good idea. We don't have much time, but I opened up a website called Beatbox, which allows you to make music. And I'm going to try and make a quick song for the game within the remaining time we have. So, we're going to try and do that right now. I'm gonna try and add a quick death screen real quick, but we have literally less than a minute, so I'm gonna try and speed run this as much as possible. <laughs> come on, I have 30 seconds. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Three, two, one. I'm done, I'm done. Oh my gosh, just in time, and we're done. I can go full screen again. Okay, I think we got everything done. I will say though, I couldn't 
fully think of something for take one, leave the rest. I kind of am cheating a little bit on that by just saying that the player is running for his life and he's leaving everybody else by saying take one, leave the rest. I know that's a little bit cheating, but I completely forgot until the last few minutes. But everything else, I pretty much got. It actually kind of worked out really well. Overall, I'm actually pretty happy with this project. And I'm actually kind of impressed myself because I didn't think I'd be able to do this in an hour and a half. And I was even able to make a little song, but it's not, not a great song, but you know, it, it works, it works. Anyways, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. I actually really enjoyed filming this video, so I might do this exact same thing more, just different topics. And if you guys want to play this game, the pinned comment should have a link to it. So just click on that, and if you're on computer, then you can play it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and to end this video off, I'm gonna do a full playthrough of the game, no commentary, so you guys can see it for those who can't play it. And yeah, I'll see you guys around.